Hello, this is Smato Day and welcome to my lessons, SD Lessons. Let me continue where I stopped in one of the organic chemistry classes. Let me start with alkane, then alkene, and then alkyne. And after that, I will continue with the nomenclature. The two methods, nomenclature, naming of organic compounds. I'll continue with that. Now, let me start with alkanes. See the first compound of alkane, methane, CH4. Here, I also want to tell you that meth means one, eth means two, prop means three, but, not but, but but means four, pent means five and so on. You have to know only this meet, eat, prop, but, pen for the board exam. Now, methane, methane is CH4, only one carbon. You can see one carbon, only one carbon here. Ethane, C286, two carbons. Propane, C3H8, three carbons then butane four carbons pentane five carbons and what about the hydrogen you will see it was h4 then became h6 two more hydrogen again two more hydrogen again two more hydrogen again two more hydrogen so hydrogen it is increasing by two Carbon, it is increasing by 1. And the general formula, so we can Cn H2n plus 2. That means if uh, n is 1 in case of methane, n is 1. So C1 H2 into 1, that is 2 plus 2 is 4. So methane is CH4. In the same way, in case of ethane, you put in place of N, you put 2, you get H6. Propane, you put it here again, Cn, N is 3, then you get C3. And here you will get hydrogen, you will get H8. And similarly, butane, you will get C4H10. And pentane, you will get C5H12. This is the molecular formula for methane. This is called the structural formula. C2H6 is the molecular formula. And this one, this one which you see in the right hand side, this is the structural formula. So molecular formula, structural formula of alkenes. Let me move on to the next page. Now let me explain the alkenes. Uh, C double bond C and then here 1 1 1 1 how do you write C 2 H 4 this is the structural formula this is called ethene so this is the first Compound of alkene is ethene. Is methane possible? Methane is not possible. At least two carbon are required to be linked with a double bond. So ethene. Let's see the next one. C, C, one double bond. Now let's see. One here, one here, one here. One, one, one. So, how much it is coming to? C3H6. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स हाइड्रोजन सो सी थ्री एच सिक्स वॉट विल बी द नेम प्रोपीन नेम विल बी प्रोपीन सो दिज आर ऑल कॉल एल्किन कंपाउंड एल्किस दे हैव डबल बॉन्ड हियर डबल बॉन्ड हियर इज द डबल बॉन्ड सो ओनली वन डबल बॉन्ड नॉट अनदर वन ओनली वन डबल बॉन्ड हियर सो इट इज टू कार्बन सो इट इज टू कार्बन सो इट इज इथ इथीन थ्री कार्बन सो इट इज प्रोपीन फोर कार्बन सी फोर and h8 it will be butene c5 h10 will be pentene and what is the general formula then in this case the general formula uh, i have little space here let me write here the general formula it is cn h 2n so in case of 2 if n is 2 then c2 h4 in case of 3 propene c3 h6 here will be 6 in case of n is 4 then c4 h8 if you make this n as 5 c5 h10 so this is all about alkenes now let me show you the alkynes now let me explain you the alkynes alkyne i have written the general formula also so n in the first case n this is ethyne two carbon so eth ethyne so let us put here in case of n let us put here 2 so h will be 2n means 4 minus 2 is 2 so we are getting ethyne c2h2 what is the specialty in alkynes it has a triple bond it has a triple bond it has a triple bond three covalent bonds only one so ethyne here is hydrogen here will be hydrogen in ethyne C two H to this one. This is the structural formula of ethyne. Let's see the next one. Propyne. This one propyne. So C three H four. Here you can count one, two, three, three and four. H four. So structural formula of propyne is this one. and next one butyne c4 h6 this is the structural formula you can count the hydrogen 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 c4 h6 ethyne ethyne propyne butyne next one will be pentyne it will be c5 and h8 then hexyne heptyne octyne nonyne and so on but you require only up to 5 the first 5 okay with c5 c5 h8 so these are alkynes and this is the general formula remember cn h2n minus 2 general formula now let me Um, open another page and explain you the nomenclature now before i start with the nomenclature or naming i need to explain this also that is functional groups what is functional group the functional group is defined as an atom you can see here this one as an atom or group of atoms you can see the group here you can see the group here and you can see the group here or a group of atoms 
now which is responsible for the characteristic chemical properties now because of this and because of this group and because of this one and this one the chemical properties of the organic compounds depend of this organic compound depends so this one now let me explain this one this functional group is called halide it is called halide cl is chloride then f is fluoride it can be f there it can be beer is bromide i is iodide so all these are halides so in 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 case of this in place of that it can be f it can be br it can be i so it is called halide chloride fluoride bromide iodide what about this one this is called hydroxyl group hydroxyl group you see how it is connected it is connected with the o this carbon is connected with the o and that is again connected with one h here you can see that so together often we write not in that way we write dash and oh we write it this way so this is the hydroxyl group next one there is a slight difference you see the carbon is connected with the o with a double bond here can you see and then the h is with a single covalent bond here here h is connected with single so together you see c is connected with a double bond here with the o and with the h it is connected with a single bond so together we write in this manner c h o but you see how exactly it is connected you need to know but we are we write in this manner c h o so that is called that is called aldehyde c h o it is called aldehyde this functional group is called aldehyde let's go to the next one this entire this functional group is called carboxyl but see how they are connected they are connected the carbon is connected with the double bond with the o and then another one with a single bond with the o but o is again connected with the h here so we write in this manner c o o h instead of writing this complicated one but you need to know the structure how they are connected because for the connections the way they are connected the chemical properties also changes so you need to know this so after knowing these halides hydroxides hydroxyl and the carboxyl and the aldehyde aldehyde and the carboxyl let us move to the nomenclature now we are not doing ketones and ethers there because it is not in the syllabus now let me explain nomenclature children to nomenclature means the naming now naming there are two ways of naming here you see nomenclature two ways of naming one is the trivial system trivial means the name which is given mainly the olden olden type in the past it is to be named in that manner uh, based on the origin of the or the source of the compound so that is trivial it has it is arbitrarily given the name is given arbitrarily and it doesn't follow any system or rule but the nomenclature the modern one this nomenclature modern one is called upac i u p a c i'm sure you know international union of pure and applied chemistry and it made its rule uh, since 1957 now this rule i will be uh, just telling you number 1 look at here of course this this is based on class 10th level not higher level so let's see the three things you need to know root word now root word means you have to count the number of carbons you look at this one look at this example root word here carbons how many are there seven 
7. So, myth means 1, it means 2, prop means 3, butte means 4, pent means 5, hex means 6, hept means 7. Of course, you will get only up to 5, but I have given 7 here. So, hept, root word is hept. Then comes the next one. Look at this. Next one is suffix. Is it hepten? Heptine, heptine. What is that? So that suffix n in ein it depends on if it has only single bonds, covalent bonds, then it is n. It ends with n. But like in this case, in this particular case, this example, it will be heptene. But if it has double bonds, then it will be hept in. But if it has triple bonds, you see the last one this one I will tell you that is iron triple bonds so iron that will be heptide so that's all about the suffix I'm talking about this one suffix root word is hept n in iron is suffix then the prefix prefix tells you tells you the Substituent and look at this example, then only the substituent will become clear. You look at this, uh, look at this one. You see these two things which have joined the main chain. You look at the chain, which I will be explaining again once again. So, these two now at the moment I'm telling these are the substituents. So, the prefix. The substituent this is called methyl methane to methyl c1 h is less than methane ch3 not ch4 ch3 methyl if it is ethane c2h6 one less then it will be ethyl c2h5 ethyl so i will discuss that slowly i will discuss that let me get into the naming of this one now okay naming of this one now let's see before that Let's see the numbering, how the numbering has gone this way and in this manner. First one, why? Now you may, que you may also question that you can go the other way around this way and go this way. Longest like a snake. Okay, so it depends. Now why we are taking the first one, this option is correct. The reason is if you look at the number, then at number 3, you find this substituent you find the substituent that carbon that is actually ch3 methyl substituent there so the number is three but if you start counting from this way if you go this way it will go wrong then it will be one two three four five the number will come five here so that will give a bigger number so we have to that will be wrong so we have to take this one this is the correct one so one two three and in three connected is the substituent then four then five then six then seven so what will be the name let me let me tell you this is incomplete drawn so i will go to the next one second one second one let's see Again, if we name it in this way, starting with 1, this one, this carbon is 1, then this one will become 2, this one is 3, this one is 4, this one is 5. So, what will be the root word? Root word will be pent. Root word will be pent. What about the suffix? See, all are single bonds. There is no double or triple bond, so it will be in. So it has to be pentane. It has to be pentane. But what about the prefix? This one. What about the prefix? Prefix. You see, one methyl is here at number two, and another methyl is here at number two. So the name will be two comma two, two comma two dimethyl because one methyl is here, one methyl is here. So two comma two dimethyl then penten 2 comma 2 dimethyl penten so the name of this will be 2 comma 2 
टू कॉमा टू डाइमिथाइल पेंटेन वॉट अबाउट दिस द लास्ट वन वॉट अबाउट दिस वन हियर द नंबरिंग वी आर डूइंग फ्रॉम हियर एज वन बिकॉज यू लुक एट दिस ट्रिपल बॉन्ड इट हैज टू बी गिवेन नंबरिंग हैज टू बी गिवेन एज सच ए वे दैट दिस वन दैट ट्रिपल बॉन्ड कम्स फर्स्ट देन टू हियर देन थ्री हियर सो वॉट इज द रूट वर्ड इन दिस केस थ्री कार्बन्स आर देयर सो इट हैज टू बी प्रॉप मिथ इथ प्रॉप मिथ वन इथ टू प्रॉप थ्री so prop and what about the suffix is it n no three three bonds you are seeing triple bond so it will be ein propyne but then there are two alkyl group here at which number three so what will be the name three comma three dimethyl डाइमिथाइल एंड प्रॉप प्रॉप प्रोपाइन प्रॉप वन आइन प्रॉप वन एट नंबर वन आइन इज एट नंबर वन प्रॉप वन आइन थ्री कॉमा थ्री डाइमिथाइल प्रॉप वन आइन यू ट्राई डूइंग सच थिंग्स यू कैन टेक द एग्जाम्पल्स वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल्स which are given in the book of 10th standard don't go to very complex ones which will never come in the board exams you can try that later on so try this any problem you can always comment so i will try to explain you in the next video today i i end here so thank you children bye